come back to the mountain I failed on. Pennsylvania, Maine, New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Connecticut, New Hampshire. That's right, people come from all over to hike on the presidential mountain terrain. Yeah, I feel better about that sign this time. Last time I was so nervous. And this is how the Bellaway Trail begins. So this is the weather window. High pressure zone, cold front, and summer. That is the exact type of weather condition opportunity I want to go up to the presidentials and to get this Madison thing done. One and a half miles so far. Very sweaty um, because it's humid, but not hot, 60 degrees. So far the trail can be characterized as the easy side of moderate and yelling children, which is funny because that's what I had on my last hike just a few days ago. Like the kids get a little spread out and they yell to each other through the woods for miles. <laughs> no, it's only been a mile, but they're back there. They passed me once and then they stopped. So now they're following me again, yelling. <laughs> uh, but it's almost back to school, isn't it? And then the woods will be quieter again. Oh yeah, perfect timing. Just when I have hit this mile and a half marker is when I get these big stairs. That means I'm halfway to the tent site where I hope to set up camp. My backpack, I forgot to weigh it. And I guess it's like probably just under 24 pounds as it's mostly the same stuff. But no bear canister, happily, and less water because I think they have that stuff up here. I certainly hope so. If they don't, there's also the hut. You can get water at the hut. So mixes in sections like this with those big rocky sections. Super speedy children passed me again, and then they stopped again because they're waiting for their mom to catch up. Seems so long. <laughs> it doesn't look hard, it's just cumulative. Okay, if you had to run really fast for a mile, you'd start slowing down, but it would feel equally hard. I must be close to the campsite because I remember feeling the same desperation last time. Like, just starting to see the first glimpse of you, but not really of you. And feeling like it's so far. I see it. I see the sign for the camp. <laughs> this is where I never made it last time. That sign was the end for me last time. A little ways back in here, at least a tenth of a mile, because I looked at the map. Oh no. Oh no. There's a sign that says, the sign says, hang your bear bag from the wire. Well, last night I got all my bear stuff ready and sorted out my rope and all. And then I didn't bring it because I looked online and it said, oh, there we go. I just saw the bear box. It said this camp has a bear box and I see it now, so.
I do smell Eve, but this is the outhouse. <laughs> All right, there's one. But obviously, I'm going to go further and see if I can at least begin with my own. Oh, check this out. An ultralight dieback mat. Nice. Last night, I had a bad dream that somebody stole all my stuff. But if that actually happened, I would just go down. Hold on. There's actually a website, uh, the Forest Agency, something like that. And you can see a little web page about this tent site. I do not believe there's any caretaker. It's not AMC, it's like a national forest. Oh, it goes quite a bit farther. There's a nice big circle right there. Too big for me. Oh, except there's a view. Oh, wow. Big area down there. And here's a spot here, a bit of a view there, and I found the fire ring. I feel like I should take this one because it's kind of small, but also the best one as far as my view goes. And no one else is here yet, and there were people at the other end, and even if people come, pretty much every campsite has the perfect rock for banging in the tent stakes. It's going to be wonderful, I think, camping tonight because it's cool and it's not raining. It's so nice when it's not raining. Okay, got my tent set up, got my lunch and my food bag and I'm super hungry. There was no communal cooking sitting area, really, I didn't see. Nothing fancy today. These are my frozen protein bar bites. I've never seen Madison Spring Hut. And the summit is only 0.5 miles from the hut. Uh, but from here to the hut is a little over half a mile, uphill rocks. <laughs> That's what's coming now. Here's the sign. Okay, it was 3.23 miles from the trailhead to the camp, and that took me two and a half hours. My current elevation, 4,100 feet. Now I'm going to push resume. Resume recording, because I had it paused while I set up camp. I remember being stuck here last time, sitting there, feeling sorry for myself and having to turn back. Not today. Good weather, fresh legs-ish, and I'm going up. Let's do it. Two airline trail. That would be the upper Bruin trail. And that is a connector trail in case someone wanted to come up airline and then cut across to the camp. I thought about it. But I continue here on Valley Way, aiming myself toward the hut and the summit. It's the Alpine Zone. Guaranteed excitement. <laughs> wow, that looks really cool. Wow, because the big rocky top, which looks huge yet small. And wow, because there's the hut. Double wow.
later. What a view. You look up for the can and then you look down to see what rock you want. Just got the view of Mount Washington. Amazing. So you look up for the cairn, you look down for the rock, and then you look backwards to see Mount Washington. <laughs> That is Mount Washington, of course, and the auto road swirling down the left side. Wind stopped, and now it seems insanely beautiful. I was having some hat issues up there. I thought that hat would look so good. It kind of looked like Paul Revere. That looks good to me. After the summit of Mount Washington, there's a kind of comes down, kind of round in. That reminds me a reverse image of Old Bridal Path. It looks really cool. There's a lot to read on that sign, uh, but I'm just coming over here to see the lake. I just passed that soccer family again, and I passed them at the summit. So that's like seven passes <laughs> for one family. We kind of know each other now. I didn't ask their names or anything, but we've chatted. We've chatted. It really looks like 
how am I going to make it look like that? Does it look right on the camera, I wonder? Because it looks surreal. Very dark, shiny blue. That was fun up there, but it was a lot of wind, a lot of rocks, a lot of people. So back into the trees I go, down to camp, and making dinner. To be honest, I'm also very much looking forward to laying quietly in my sleeping bag. <laughs> well, I'm very happy not to be going all the way to the valley and all on that long drive. New way. Save that long drive home for tomorrow. Goodbye, Alpine Zone. See you again next time. I survived. Hello. Hello. I do not think that is a legal campsite. And I am not to the tent site yet, but I wonder if there was some kind of reason for them to camp there. I wonder if the tent site is full, forcing them to go to that spot. Hmm, a new bag has appeared. Okay, so what are you going to do up there on the summit? All right, so tomorrow I'm going to attempt to summit Mount Jefferson and Mount Adams, and I bring my ham radio gear with me. So uh, I, I'm involved in a program called Summits on the Air, hmm. and it's, uh, it's got a worldwide following. And uh, basically it's a point scheme for ham radio operators. So I go up there and I get points for activating the summit and then people get points for chasing me on a summit like a puzzle well it's morse code so it it um you know i call cq which is a general call cq s-o-t-a soda in and my... so if i was one of these guys what would i have to do say i'm chasing you whatever what do i do first they would send their call sign okay. and then i acknowledge their call sign ah, by sending it back to like them. you found me Yes, okay. and, then, and then I give them a signal report, collapsible fishing poles, <laughs> and I stick them in the rocks, and you can hear they're sectional, okay. telescoping, uh -huh. so I just push this up, uh -huh. it goes up about 20 feet. Oh, cool, well nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you.
was watching the light change on Mount Madison. It's the last little bit of sun. I got this new towel so I can wash my face. Looks like it's going to be a very clear night. I forgot the sugar packet. This was a very good campsite. Doesn't that trail look so, so easy? And it certainly feels easy right now. But when you're going the other direction, it does not feel so easy. All right, I've been coming down as fast as I safely can. And now I hit the sort of end part where this beautiful water begins. Can't really see it yet, but I hear it. Okay, so there's this little cutout, kind of a side trail you can do on the way back to the parking lot, and I've not gone this way before. It supposedly brings you closer to the water. So why not? Oh wow, let's just look at this.
is so beautiful. Look at that bigger pool down there. Oh, wow. Just water, but it's just so beautiful. really good feel good hike easy camping dramatic summit doable trail kind of hard kind of easy and now this beautiful end with multiple waterfalls It just goes on and on. There's more and more. How many waterfalls are in here? It's endless, and there's a path on both sides. Oh man, I see the parking lot. I hear the highway. That is it. This is a wrap on the Madison Redo. I am so happy. I had good conditions. What a wonderful camp it was. Great summit all around A plus hike. Ah, feels good. Mm -hmm.